A massive fire has broken out at the Mabatu Palms Hotel in Mahiking. Senior ANCA reporter Aviu Mdila joins me now. Aviu, what are we looking at from where you stand? Yes, it is true that um, Mabato, one of the oldest, in fact, resorts and casinos in South Africa, burnt down overnight. Uh, we're not sure the extent of it as we just arrived ourselves. We'll give you the extent. But just joining me now is the Deputy Minister of Agriculture and Land Reform, Zolega Kapa, who was inside when it happened. Mama, thank you for joining us at ENCA. But around what time did this happen and what exactly happened? It was around 1 a.m. when I woke up. As to when it had started, I won't be able to know. Because after watching the news until a little bit late, I just fell asleep. And then when I, uh, I couldn't breathe and I didn't know why. And then when I jumped up, I could see that my, my lights didn't uh, come on. It was dark, there was heavy smoke. I struggled to get to the door to be able to open. But when I was outside, of course, it was very, very, there was light because there was roaring of, uh, of the uh, flames and uh, there was heavy smoke and I started shouting in trying to also get to my PA who was in the next bedroom. I, I started shouting, guys, come out, fire, fire, fire. I then ran to the other passage. It was locked that side. I came back down the street the steps and I was shouting everyone, I was pushing everyone, people were somewhere still pu pulling their uh, uh, luggages and so on. I said leave it for your sake. Then we went out up until this outside here. We tried to find our way outside the gate because there are many trees here and they were also on fire. Then I really couldn't breathe then I was taken to the hospital. Okay, ma I just want to check then, have you confirmed with the management or anyone um, what caused this fire? There was very serious chaos because there was no one to talk to. And I've not spoken to any hotel person now as to when I'm being discharged from the hospital, where to go. And I had nothing to put on. And secondly, there was no one who was directing the people to a, 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 an assembly zone, an assembly area, and we didn't meet any security either. There was no alarm that went on to alert us. Okay, and you've been at the hospital. Are you fine, mind? I understand now you're going to meet the Premier. Is it related to this? It's, I know because he is the Premier of the province, and I think he wants to listen to what happened to me. And then I'm going straight to Pretoria to at least to get a uh, sleep and uh, because indeed I hadn't slept indeed, indeed, indeed. That's what saved us anyways anyway because I wasn't fast asleep. Mm. I had just gone to bed. Okay. Um, at this stage, we understand no injuries confirmed. That is the Deputy yes, Minister. That's, that's the issue that I was worried about because there were also children here. So uh, being assisted by their parents. So for those who lost their damage, I'm also sympathizing, I mean, their, their belongings. I lost everything, my cards, my purse, my computer, and mostly my information. But that we are safe, I can safely say to them, sorry too. Okay. Yes, thank you. Sorry, Ma, about that uh, loss. That is uh, Ma Zolega Kapa, the Deputy Minister of Agriculture and Land Reform, was inside the Mabato Palms, um, as we hear, around 1 o'clock when she um, got away to that fire that was engulfing um, the roofs burning safely. They got out unscathed, but we heard um, how difficult it was for her to breathe, to get out uh, a bit of chaos, as you'd imagine. But as it stands, we haven't heard any um, loss of life. Uh, there is, of course, loss to property, as she mentioned, her belongings and some of critical information that was burnt up in flames at the Mabato Proms. A lot of um, uh, police around at this very moment. Uh, it's been cordoned off uh, the hotel itself and the casino resort, one of the oldest in South Africa. A lot of police coming in, um, fire engines around, and people just waiting around. We'll catch up a bit later on, maybe to get more some sense of direction as to um, what's been done and exactly what caused this fire. Because at this stage, there's, it's not clear exactly what led uh, to the fire itself, but there is still some smoke. We were met by that smoke ourselves.
When we came here in Mahikeng at the Mabato Palms, one of the oldest casinos and resorts um, in South Africa. Deputy Minister, we just spoke to now, on her way to the Premier to give her um, a full update to the incoming uh, Pushimape, the Premier of the Northwest, in terms of exactly what happened to her as she says herself she went to hospital, likely um, unscathed at this stage, but she really wants some rest, as she mentioned, uh, the traumatic experience that led to her not even sleeping last night. Yeah, indeed. As you've mentioned there, um, Avi Wimtila, that, uh, you know, uh, Bushimape, the new premier, wanted to hear exactly what happened, uh, the circumstances around uh, the Mabatu Hotel. And just hearing the deputy minister saying that she had to shout for everyone to leave everything and save their lives. Um, sure, what, what a scene there. I can imagine them being in. Um, Avi Wimtila, we'll be sure to be back with you as soon as any other developments do arise.